Hello there. Right, we said we were going to review the Fitz brick clamp. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We used them the other day, didn't we? It's a great effect. So we've racked this corner up. We've built all this up. So we're just coming up to the top of the racked up corner now. So we're going down there. So we'll show you how to put them on. So pull them down here, spray. So this one's already been set up. So that's already been set up there. So we whack that on there and we'll show you how to do it down the other end. So that's clamped on there now. So come down this end. So these are, if you haven't seen them, these are the Fitz Bricks clamp. That's the website and everything. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, it's quite dark. That's where to get them from there. So basically, what these do is your line goes on these little grooves there look your line goes through there and then you can attach a line around there and they clamp onto a brick like that and then your line comes off it and they will not move they're really really good I'm impressed with them so to show you how to set it up so basically now sorry again sorry about the uh, the road noise so that look I don't think you can see this we get a close up on it. So that goes in there like that. So you've got these little groovy teeth bits in there. So that line goes under there like that. So you want to get a bit of tension on your line. And then you just wind it around that, like that. And we've got a hitch in the line, so that hangs there. And then you just put your hand on there, pull the clamp out, and then there's a good bit of tension on that line there now. And we made these this morning. And that is it. A way to go. So you've got no pin holes or anything like that in there now. That's a nice tight line. So wait to go. And we've done that. We've used that all day, haven't we? All day. They haven't moved the brick. They haven't come off. They haven't flung us in the face or anything like that. Very, very good. 30 odd quid, I think they are. If you go onto the website, and I'm not getting paid for this, you know, these are, we're just recommending these ourselves. So. They're very, very good. So we said we'd review them, we had them. So there we are. Now this little bad boy, if you go out there, Frey, and show them the setter that we've got going on here today. So you can see the gazebo. So it's pouring down with rain. Now I'm actually in the rain now, obviously. It's pouring down with rain. Today. Pardon? For the first for the time today. Why have you been in the rain for them, Brad? <laughs> well, what's that? Point it to the radio. So the gazebo, before that idiot has uh, interrupted me, the gazebo, absolutely brilliant. We'd said we had a problem with um, pushing it up and getting the pin hook, the holes in and, and getting it into the correct position. But we've mastered that now, haven't we? You know, the boys have mastered it and it's really, really good. So we've got all this, we've managed to do all this today. If we hadn't have had this today, we wouldn't have been um, would have been bricklaying because it is I don't know if you can see it it's absolutely pouring now with rain so where's it, where it from rock awnings gazebo six by three absolutely brilliant ten out of ten really good boys isn't it mm -hmm. very very good and Brad's using it as a washing line look because he's pretended that he's got wet today and just to let us know he's put all his clothes up there we just made him move his coat so he, he wants you to feel sorry for him because he, he thinks he's wet he's been out in the rain and we haven't is that right Brad <laughs> no all right if you want to too smell and it smells disgusting Just it smells because he's been wearing it that's yeah. all <laughs> yeah <laughs> Just I've been wearing it. anyway the other thing we did and we didn't uh, we didn't show you because it was freezing cold and we pushed our luck a little bit but if you swivel around there that concrete down there in the corner we said we'd show you it was on a pump we said we'd show you but we didn't so apologies for that so that's in there was 5.3 cubic meters of concrete gone in that there so we leveled all the boards out, but you can see the wooden board board and the shoring all the way around it, the formwork, shuttering rather. And then we just got that a big long straight edge and we just poured it in and straight edged it all off and it was absolutely easy as peasy as pie. We didn't even waste any, did we? Nothing on it at all. So there's a good few bit of concrete in there, it's about 225 thick with steel. Um, and somebody asked me, I can't remember, I think it was Mike on YouTube, he asked me about the foundations for this. So we put the foundations in for this. We put a toe on the foundation, if your name's Mike. Put a toe on the foundation, overlap on the foundation, 
around about 100, 150 mil either side of the foundation. Um, and then we priced up, I think it was, for 150 mil thick. But we, had, we, had, we put in 300 mil, didn't we? Yeah. We over engineered it. We put in 300 mil and we put in 225 down there and we over engineered that. I just, I like to do things overboard just to make sure it's right, which costs me many, but hey ho. So I hope that answers your question, if it was you, Mike. That, uh, so that's what we did on that there. And that's it. So that's the brickwork. We'll carry on with that. Now we've got all the electrics going in, we've got the lights going in. And um, Brad's wet. He's run out of food. He's got a food for Brad, isn't he? It is. How's your diet going? Pretty good. Pretty good. What size bag of crisps did you have yesterday? I didn't. Yes, you did. You had a big, oh, massive cheese. Pound, a pound bag. I, I don't know what was in it. You had a massive pound, like a bag of cement bag worth <laughs> of uh, crisps, but he's on a diet. How much weight you lost, Brad? I don't look at that. You don't look at he's on a He's losing a diet. He's on a weight. He's on a diet, but you don't look at how much weight you're losing. I haven't lost any. <laughs> there we are. You haven't lost any. Right then, so we leave it to it. We'll crack on you now and we'll uh, we'll bring you some more. So these walls are going up. Look, you can see the curve we've been building. We've got these posts, we've got the people coming in for these posts now, there's gates going there. So these posts, we're gonna concrete them in those posts. They've been galvanized, so they're not gonna rust. So we've, uh, you know, we're doing a good job on it. I like to think anyway. So we've got lights going in. We've got letter boxes going in. We've got, what else going in, Brad? We got um, CCTV. CCTV going in, yeah. Like sensors. And sensors, all kinds of different stuff going in. So you can just drive in, press buttons, and the gates are open on their own, and yeah, all singing and dancing. So there we are. Any questions, leave them below. But those fits bricks, we said we'd review them. Thumbs up, really, really good. So um, stay warm, stay dry, stay safe, and um, see you soon.